Hi everyone, and welcome back to this comprehensive video series covering all things 3D modeling in Clip Studio Paint. If you haven't seen the previous videos in this series, please check them out so you can catch up with us. And with that being said, let's continue. Now that we've basically learned everything that there is to know about 3D modeling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bedroom from scratch using all the tools and all the skills that we've learned over this video series. And I'm going to time it and show you guys how long it actually takes to build a scene from scratch. It might take a little while and you might be thinking, oh, I could have probably drawn that in that amount of time. And that may be true. However, especially in consecutive art, such as comics and webtoons, having a scene or a room that you're going to use over and over again, say it's your main character's bedroom that you're not just going to be using once, you're going to actually have multiple scenes throughout your story in it, then it's going to actually save you time in the long run because you're going to have the bedroom already built and all you have to do is just drag and drop it each time and set the angle to what you need. But before we get into that, the first thing you can do if you want to be uber specific uh, is actually use a human model to scale everything else to an appropriate size. And as we learnt, the 3D humans, their height can actually be altered if we go to change body shape. So I'm going to use my height because the best thing about that is I know how tall I am compared to, say, a doorway. I can actually measure myself against a door because most doors, at least in the West, are standard sizes. And I'm not talking about old houses that may have been built in the 1800s. I'm talking about modern door sizes. So if we go to the internet and we look that up, standard door height. And I'm just gonna look at Australian door height because that's where I live. And as you can see, it is generally 2.3 meters high, so it's about 238 centimeters tall. And I'm 170, so there you go. I'm going to use this door. What we can do now, we can actually go back to our size. So I want the door to be a little high, so I want it to be 234 centimeters. You can actually put that into here and make my model super tall so that we can accurately size the door. So that is a typical height of a door, at least in my country of Australia, and I can put my model back to my own height. And that door is probably the biggest I've ever seen. It's probably a bit too tall, so I'm going to size that down. The 234 centimeters must be the highest height that doors come in Australia. So that one is a bit more accurate might even put it a little smaller to be honest i'm just looking at my door right now and like that that's more accurate i would say that my height i'm generally under the hinge by a fair whack now that we've scaled this door correctly we can actually build our scene around it to scale so when i put models in of certain height i'm not going to have to rescale my models because if i rescale my model the height will change, as you can see down here. And I don't want that because I want all my characters to remain the same height throughout the story. So that is what we do. Now, we don't need fake me anymore. We just have the door. That's really good. We can zoom right out and I'm gonna build our room around this little base. Hi guys, sorry for the interruption, but if you're enjoying this video and it's helping you, please give it a like and a share so others can find it. What helped you might help someone else. If you could also subscribe, that'd be great too. There'll be plenty of videos in this series, so click that big black button below so you don't miss a single one. If you have any questions, pop them down in the comment section below and I'll answer them as best I can.
And that's it for this video, so please subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Uh, if you have any questions, pop them down in the comments section below and I'll answer them as best I can. Don't forget to like and share, and thank you for watching. Bye!